He okay. feels confident in the ability to beat the Axe with this Petra Pit. All right, that's great, yeah. And this is something that we've seen uh, in all levels of play in every region, where sometimes it's just a matter of you felt good on that Legend in your last set. We don't, you don't care who you're against. You're just carrying that Legend over. You're like, oh, the Petra was the answer the entire time. Get off that Koji. This is going to be my character of choice. And Godly opening up strong with the Axe so far, looking similar to the last set that we watched between these two players. But now acting with the Orb, let's see if he can get the lead back. Now there was a time in Brawlhalla's meta concerning Orb and Axe that Orb was thought of as just a better Axe. Akno is gonna be able to get back here. We'll see if that's maybe sort of the case. I mean, Axe is still an incredibly strong weapon, so yeah. maybe a little bit of a nerf, but that seems to not deter too many players from playing an Axe Legend. We've seen a lot of Olgrims today. We really haven't seen too many Brins, at least in 1v1, but we did see some 2v2 Brins. It's definitely not keeping Godly off of an Axe character because he's bringing this Rayman. Might get the KO oh. here. That's absolutely going to do it. Built up so much damage. Had that Neutral Light for the KO option. I think he's in okay shape. Yeah. Unless he gets hit by... Oh, he's actually still in orange. Excuse me. Correct me. I'm completely wrong. He's in pretty good shape here. Yeah, and what Golly's been able to do to Acno that nobody else has really been able to do is usually hit a, a, a neutral light side light nair before Acno equalizes the stock. He almost he just, got a reset yeah. there too. He hit the side light nair. I was expecting a neutral light. Oh no! Oh, he almost got up at the bottom of that side that too. Was brutal. Uh, knocking out with gauntlets is is exceptionally difficult compared to a lot of other weapons here. Uh, just getting the side light's not good enough. You have to be able to get that read afterwards, but the recovery, punishing Axe's recovery, gives Akno that knockout, and he did only get hit by one side light in there uh, before that stock gets uh, taken down. So Godly now trying to get some unarmed hits in through here, and he's just whipping every single one of them. Axe picked up, that's better. Godly gets oh, two good hits. Oh, whips the in. neutral light in the other direction this time. But again, side light Nair, chunk a lunk, and that's a lot of damage. Yeah. D-Light's gonna send Akno flying. No major chase for the juggle opportunity coming out from Godly. He just wants to maintain that ground authority, because look at the main moves he's throwing out. In light, grounded move, side light, grounded move, neutral air, a move that you use off of the side light. Oh, Godly waiting out the wall slip there. And he sees oh. it. He saw the first exclamation point, and he was like, that's it. He goes right off. He doesn't jump too high. He does that run off ground pound. And there, there's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of skill expression there in the sense that if you put in that down heavy too early, you accidentally slide charge or use a signature. So just being able to get that right away, you get that ground pound, spike acting at the bottom of the stage and take the lead is huge for Godly. Nair comes through. That down light was so close to punishing that dodge. Oh, side light Nair hits again at Akno in orange already. Whoa. Down here almost connects to you. Oh, that. Oh, oh, oh he waited. Oh, no way. He waited. He wanted to hit a Juicer Magooser there. Oh. He didn't actually get a major follow up, but he waited for that dodge to come Dude, out. Dude, my out brain the spot imploded. Dodge. When I saw Sidelight <laughs> in the way, I was like, this has never been done before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this like, new what? axe technology that has just been developed, never before I, seen. The EU innovation what? coming out of jolly old what? England. No, I thought he was going to stare him off of the neutral light. He doesn't do it. The weapon throw comes down. The bounce isn't active. Agno makes it back to the stage. That unarmed Nair is almost enough to take him off the top. And Godly is trying to return the oh. favor. There it is. Recovery gets him with the two stock. And Agno might be returning to Koji pretty quickly. Akno really struggled to close out stocks that game. You're going to see a yeah. very long graph on that second stock. Just some really solid textbook axe play coming out from Godly. You saw him just run off and do the ground pound there. Nothing super fancy, nothing like that mechanically difficult that if you looked at like APMs, he doesn't look like some nasty StarCraft player on the sticks there. There you see the first half of the game was on the first stock. The second half of the game was on the second stock. Look at the damage build, how steady. It was almost linear. Straight Straight yeah. linear at a diagonal line on that final almost stock. Had a, almost had a perfectly centered lost stock there on the graph, too. But it wasn't. It was a little earlier on in the match. And we're having a, 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 a little bit of a lull here because I, I do think that Akno's seriously considering what legend he has to bring out against I Godly. would be. Uh, the Koji looked the best in the sense that it brought to a game five, but I don't think any of Akno's games looked quite as rough against Godly as that Petra game just did. That and was so, definitely a tough and, one. And so it's like when you have sword and you have bow, and now you have gauntlets and you have orb, and nothing really feels like it's hitting the right uh, spot against uh, 
Godly's Axe, I'm wondering what Akno brings out here to combat it, because he has potentially two games left in the entire tournament, and Godly just, just takes it. Well, I think whoever he brings out, it is likely not going to share a weapon with the Petra, because mm. neither weapon looks strong. He did 436 yeah. damage. Compared to like, All what, of like that went into two stocks. Ooh. 208 oh, when you put it average way, per stock is rough. Yeah, that Ray means he Rayman's not exactly a, a, a tanky legend, right? He does actually have, like, he has some pretty decent defense. He has some yeah. middling defense. Of course, uh, Godly's going to go into the movement speed stance to give him a little bit of juice on that one. Get, yeah. him, get, him, get him moving and grooving and even, dare I say, schmoovin' all the way through to be able to rotate in, rotate out, get away, get in, giving him a little bit of more movement speed when he goes for the runoff ground pound to get uh -huh. the KO. Maybe, maybe make it a little bit less reactable. Well, let's see here. We've got, okay, this is not, this is the last thing that I was expecting, but it does have none of the weapons that he's that used today. <laughs> the, the My Sentinel, assertion was correct. Sentinel's being locked in. So that means that Akno's now rotated through six different weapons against Godly in this one tournament alone to be able to combat this Rayman. It's now going to be Sentinel, Katars, and Hammer dipping out of the defense stance to actually get that uh, really well-rounded five forest, five decks. I'm you, need, you look very puzzled. I, it's I don't I don't know why you would do that. I'm sure there is absolutely a reason why you. Yeah. I don't know if there's like a specific acute event point where you can say I can get this by going into this. Rather I than do just know like, it's a nice little break here or there. I do know or that it makes um, like dare D light or whatever. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna need my Qatar guys out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and what I was mentioning me is that like in the past, I, I remember specifically tweets like from Wrenched. Uh, that was like, he feels like the higher dexterity on a Suri makes him better at guitars. Like, it just feels better. He can't explain it. He doesn't have, like, any, like, logical reason for it other than yeah. it just feels nicer. And maybe that's what Akno's looking for here with the Sentinel. But we're on Crystal Temple for game number two. As Akno's two games away from being knocked out and Godly going undefeated in the European Winter Championship 2022. Godly, with the gauntlets, gets stopped, stared away to the edge. And Akno, on the Sentinel, is trying to take a lead here and bring it to a, a even game. I opened up a tab specifically for Twitter, at who is Sparky. If you know why Akno goes into the deck stance, please hit me up. I am very curious. Oh, and Godly off the left side of the stage, gets the side air, and Akno goes down to two stocks in game number two. And Godly's Rayman's crazy. Now we're here on Crystal Temple. This would definitely favor virtually any Axe character that you want to pull out. I think it's a good choice. Yeah. For Godly, we haven't really seen this so far between these two players. I wonder how Akno's hammer is going to fare here because you can do like a short jump and go for those neutral airs, those side airs. I think the signature, like the side signature on hammer might cover a little bit of that platform. Stomp Sayer, not going to be enough. That weapon toss might clean this one up. Oh. It was enough. He did the exact right thing. Yep. I was going to question it for a second, yep. but I am in the wrong here. He delighted that direction. A little surprised that Godly's neutral air didn't hit him. A little. Oh, yeah. But the d -Light has that bonus property of the momentum, right? And he slides right out of the way and because of that, Godly just doesn't get the chase out to make it back. Oh, Akno, double end light. Reed. Gets the Nair on the way back down too. Godly returning with his own neutral light, but Akno's brought this back pretty quick. New guitar is picked up. Godly being very careful. You see him just running away. He was jumping around, then he ran away, waited for Akno to throw out a move, punished it. There is a spawn on the field. Godly not able to get over to it. He just kind of played around it, hit the side light neutral air, knew he couldn't pick up the Sayer true, so he didn't go for it. Now he picks up the Sayer. That is two Sayer kills. Of all the moves that I think Godly has been taking stocks with, I don't think Sayer is one of the main ones. It's been a lot of neutral lights. Right. We saw the ground pound over the edge. We saw a down signature at one point. I don't think Sayer is definitely the most used one. Now he's picked up two this game. Akno gets the landing neutral light there, but he has not gotten the follow-ups that we're used to seeing guitar players get with those. That disarms Godly. Hammer picked up, waiting for him to touch the stage. Goes for the stomp, but Godly waits it out. Picks up neutral light. There's the stomp cider. Akno evens up the game, but that's all he's been doing. I think I've said that sentence like maybe 18 times against Godly at this point because he's always at a slight stock deficit. He evens up the game pretty quickly, and then Godly just takes him down once again. And if that happens here, Godly goes up 2-0. Now, Godly is stuck on these gauntlets until another spawn comes in. We'll see how aggressively Akno plays around it, where it comes out, when it comes out. It's been a little while since it's dropped. It's got to be coming in soon. Disarmed Akno immediately is not in the right spot to get over to it. Godly grabs it as it comes in on the right soft platform. It's the Axe. Akno sort of, he's straight up oh, running away. Oh, man. Agno gets an air. He runs from that down line, but the down air down line from Godly hits, and he uses that chain dodge to go super high up. 
Oh, he dodges that neutral light. Akno's just been getting fleeting nares in, in neutral lights. Like, he gets the nair, he gets the neutral light, he goes back. He's just trying to get the damage as slowly as possible. Nice follow up. He's there, to build finally it. gets the recovery after the neutral light. And now, Godly, X picked up. Gets He's it by really the... building it now. Yeah, this looks great. Oh, and he ran into the weapon. Insult to injury. And it's Godly on the gauntlets. This is Akno's side best chance finish? to take uh -oh. this game. That side air, that uh -oh. weapon toss. Ground, Ground pound hits, he touches the stage, he has the dodge to make it back, and he uses oh! the neutral thing and he gets the knockout on the recovery. What, Agno? What a crazy comeback. I mean, I guarantee you, he was just thinking about touching the stage, but it also covered any unarmed opportunity. Was Godly on? Okay, we need to see if Godly had a weapon there. That was crazy. He, he, he tossed it down. That's where the spot yeah. dodge came out from Akno that then led so to the So he spot dodges gunsel. the weapon throw yeah, and he weapon. gets the neutral signal, the ground pound. That was the perfect That edge was sick. Card. Wow. That was nasty. That was absolutely disgusting. Putrid. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, all, the, all those were, I mean, I, I was looking at the cast and replay there with me. And I'm like, I'm like going like, what? I was like in disbelief. I was like, how is that possible? Akno, how did he think about doing that? Oh, it's side light in light. Thank you, everybody on Twitter. Oh, sweet. Sidelight in light on the guitars. And we have seen Akno use that. Yes. And it led into a recovery twice. So I didn't know that that was really Dex Limited. Yeah. Just because I'm used to seeing it on, like, an Asuri mm -hmm. or a character that already we're, we're, has, like, has yeah, most the five Dex Limited. Guitar, or I haven't noticed Guitar it. legends tend to be pretty dexterous. Yep. Um, Sentinel is kind of one of those few cases coming out that, that at least gets play in tournament. Yeah, and he is uh, he's dipping out of that, that tankiness to get that dexterity. So now getting hit by that cider afterwards, that could be the second cider knockout that we see today. No, weapon throw comes through, not enough knockback, and Akno slips his way back onto the stage. Godly gets that extra damaging D-Light ground pound. That's the first time that we've seen Godly really try to put out a Rayman side stick with Gauntlets. Trying to catch Akno off guard, doesn't hit him. No recovery afterwards. Akno goes for a weapon throw down to cover himself, and okay, Gauntlet neutral light almost takes him off the right side of the stage, and the weapon throw will do it. Now now he does clean that up with the weapon toss down, but when he first hit that neutral light, I was thinking, Godly wishes he had an axe in his hand right yeah. now, because that neutral light definitely would oh, that kill. Been he had the follow-up, though, has a little bit of a lead here. The next weapon he grabs will be an axe. Starting oh, to go with these gauntlets here. He didn't actually go for the stomp there. The neutral air, that Whoa, one doesn't take that out. Good. That's some of that little bit higher defense coming yeah. in. Definitely not the highest in the game whatsoever, but not low by any means. Helping him survive that one nair, but then he got hit by the next one. Golly picks up a fresh axe. That means the gauntlets are prepared. Akno with the guitars. Oh, he dodges down, tries to get the recovery, but Godly hits him with the backswing of his own recovery. He's doing it for his sidelight down air that time. Godly really going for the mix-ups off of the sidelight, and Akno with the guitars goes in for the neutral light. Nair hits. Let's see if he can get that sidelight uh, side opener. Akno really just waiting for Godly, especially when he has the axe in his hands, to throw out a weapon, and then Akno can whiff punish. Not quite the same case, but even just there, you saw him run all the way to the left side of the stage. Godly got impatient, threw out a move, then in came the sidelight from Akno. Godly gets the sidelight, goes for this double sidelight on the platform, which could have led to a triple, but he doesn't get it. Akno still at a slight deficit. Hammer picked up, weapon throw gets re picked up. Sidelight dodge, Godly, no nair punish. Okay, Gauntlet recovery could take Akno off the top pretty quickly. And Akno will be in the last time situation. Ooh. Picks up in a weird spot. Wasn't Whoa. even close to getting the recovery off of the down light. Stomp side air. Still only has Godly in the orange. So that didn't really send him far, but that did no. put him over on the edge. I'm a little bit surprised we didn't see Godly come yeah. up with like a side air there. That, that felt like certain doom for Agno, but uh, he respects it. Okay. Oh, was he waiting for the insig? I wonder if he was waiting for a dodge to then go for the insig. Possible. Recovery hits. Another one of those would take him out. Hammer picked up. Maybe looking for the stomp side air, but the unarmed recovery from Godly will send Agno even higher. Throws that axe away immediately. That shows that Godly might be panicking just a little bit. Maybe leaning on those weapon tosses a little oh. bit more than he used to. What a weapon toss Speaking there. About leaning on him. Just a yeah. nice little dainty bonk on the head from the gloves of Rayman to get that KO. That's the second weapon toss KO this game, right? Yep, yep. Godly has been absolutely relying on them, both with the Axe and the Gauntlet, to take Akno down. Akno has been trying to put the game at his own pace, and Godly has been responding very well, uh, matching the way that Akno is playing and hitting him more often than not. Uh, and now Neutral Light and Anair comes through. The extra credit has been done. Akno has been equalizing these pretty quickly, but both players have like gotten to the point where the, the intensity is so high, they're going for that weapon throw to open up Neutral. If it doesn't work, they both just wait for the next weapon spawn and try again.
Godly going over for the attempted edge guard. The spot dodge gets through the ground pound, finds the unarmed recovery for the punish. Sidelights coming in from Godly. He's extending this lead. Akno has a hammer. Godly is going to be very careful, putting a lot of distance between the two. Has the axe in hand. He's going to look for those neutral lights, those side light nares. Even just jumping oh. up for those nares, weapon easily comes to Akno. Oh, the down light stops the down air. Weapon throw down. Gauntlet's picked up. Goes to the side air weapon throw. It's going to be three weapon throw knockouts this game. Okay, no. Gets him off the top. Didn't realize Godly was that damaged, but now it's one to one. And Akno almost just evaporated to that axe recovery. Oh, oh the stomp. that side air might have done it. That stomp could have just saved Akno. Neutral light from the middle of the stage recovery. doesn't quite do it. Didn't Godly doesn't let him, him have off a chance. Screen. I, I don't even think one more neutral light will do it. I here. think it's just the ground pound here. Uh, if Akno's close up, activates again. It's kind of tough with the Mammoth Fortress platform there. It, I, gi it gives Akno so yeah. much advantage. I think you just oh, gotta be careful. He's fully charging that weapon throw and Akno just smacks him for it. Akno is really like, okay, how on earth do I do this? This platform is being so kind to him, that's it. That secures that it. it. We are going to a game four. Godly is up 2-1, and since we have a character on match point, we got to do this every time. It is literally in our contracts, Taza. The way grand finals works is the person who yeah. is in winner's bracket only has to win one right. best of five game. That is That's the uh, blessing afforded to them for not losing yet. It's a double elimination yeah. tournament. You get to lose once, go down into loser's bracket, and then possibly fight for the way to come back up. Right. Now, if you're Akno, you want to win the first best of five. That grants you the bracket reset, thereby pulling Godly down into the loser's bracket. And then you have one more final best of five. That's right. Now, for Akno fans, they're sweating right now because Godly, the one who's in the winner's bracket, that's why there's a big old W next to his name. He has two games under his belt compared to Akno's one. Yeah, and Akno now has to win not only two games in a row, but then three more games against Godly in the bracket reset, which you just... Perfectly outlined. You summed it up in a lot less words, so that's probably for the best. So thank you, Taza, for taking the ball. I needed I needed yeah. to hand off the ball to you because uh, Twitch chat was coming after me, saying like, "Why is this guy saying so many words when so few words?" Oh, you good? put it quite eloquently. Oh, thank you, Taza. I appreciate it. And, and that. now we've got Akno once again on a different legend. He liked how the guitars were working, uh, but we were talking about how like when we see guitar legends, we're used to seeing a Suri. Well, there we go. We have a Suri on the screen, and the sword's making a comeback from that Koji pick that Akno had in Winners Finals when he had played it against Godly. Godly has just been destroying everybody with the rain man so far. Neutral and the recovery comes through and Akno's picking up the pace a little bit here in game number four. Now that he's on a Surrey here on Demon Island. This is sort of one of the final forms of Akno's character picks because, I mean, I'm sure he has, yo, he gets the KO there, chasing really high into the sky, but in terms of he probably has more under his belt, but at least this is the final culmination of those Katars from the Sentinel, of the sword that we saw him start mm -hmm. off with the Koji. It's all of that coming together into this Asuri pick that got the first stock when he is on possible tournament point against Godly, who could take the win and take the entire tournament here. Falling cider doesn't quite work, and the neutral light hits. Weapon spawn comes through. Golly doesn't even go for He's it. He's just going to punish the oh, landing. Oh, he went for the neutral light, and Akno was ready for that. Dodges away from that landing. Doesn't uh, risk landing on top of Godly. Guitar is picked up. Akno up a stock. Down light. Oh, okay. Well, okay. All oh, right. <laughs> that one did it. He needed to be just a I little bit I was just getting ready higher. to be like, that's not going to work on Demon Island. And <laughs> he goes up and he gravity cancels it. And he he makes it work. Godly was like, okay, there we go. Down lights connect. And now Godly has even up the damage quite well here with the axe. Act I think no. when he has this in hand, he's going to play extremely safe. Mm -hmm. He knows that he can win neutral just by finding one hit at a time, yep. where Akno will have to find two. He'll have to go for these strings when Godly has true combo answers. Ooh, and Akno goes from the side light. D-Light Sider does disarm him. Could go for the neutral stick here. The edge guard neutral lights are coming through. Gravity cancel down light doesn't get him as Godly just jumps right over his head. Godly with the axe. Tries to fall off the Sider and D-Light Sider will get him off the left side of the stage. Is he gonna go down? He'll be sweating pretty soon. Guitar's picked up, weapon throw, D-Light recovery. Akno with the true combo off of the weapon throw down. Takes Godly off the top, is on the verge of bringing this to game five. Gauntlet's in hand for Godly. He did find a neutral light. Akno keeping him out, though. Nice two hits in a row. Weapons disarmed from Godly. He threw them away, but he picks the axe up. Akno is at a massive lead here. He has been playing Sword very well. He's been playing Katars very well. 
Godly just doesn't have a handle on really how to take this stock away from Akno yet. Tried to go for the D-Sig, he's taken stocks with that before, not gonna work on Akno here, even though he was in those sweat beats. Recovery hits. Second recovery misses. Akno on the verge of a two-stock with that Nair coming through. Side light Nair from Godly goes for the recovery or gone from. No, Akno gets hit by the dash jump fastball side air. Godly evens up the stocks and, all right, get ready, Sparky. This could be it for Akno here. He has got such a great lead, but when Godly's got the gauntlets and he's just winning every single neutral interaction with Akno, gets that recovery, the Nair doesn't follow, but Akno is on the back foot. There we go, down to recovery hits, and now Akno has a much better chance. If Godly plays the best Brawlhalla of his entire life, right here, we could have a brand new EU 1v1 champion in more ways than one. Akno is not going to let that happen. He's going to delay it at least a little bit longer. Delight right. recovery. We're going to a game five situation. Godly is still on tournament point here. Akno is on bracket reset point. Looking at the damage between the two, 592 from Akno. So still getting close to 200 damage per stock, but we're on Demon Island. You're playing a lower strength legend against a pretty solid defense legend. So that's not bad whatsoever. Yeah, uh, we, oh, Godly has actually swapped off the Rayman. So this is interesting. Akno finally, found the the missing piece of the puzzle on how to deal with the Rayman and Godly is like, okay, time to completely mix it up on you now. Is the tie along epic crossover for Mordex is coming out. Axe tossed aside for Scythe. A much Three, string two, heavier one, weapon one. coming out from this where he had all that guaranteed stuff. This is this is interesting. Okay, so really leaning into the gauntlet. Has the scythe over here. Has a much uh, much different signature kit that's a lot more adept to getting knockouts on stage, whether you're tossing him off the spike or off the top. And now Godly with the scythe picked up is really starting to respond to the fact that Akno has found some success on this Asuri. Now, I can't remember what actual scythe that Simple was using earlier today when he oh, was playing was that it? the Tai Lung. Oh, he grabbed gets the neutral stick. You could have just like tossed a weapon or something or just kind of backed away yeah, from it. Yeah, that was it. so cool. He, it worked with the Sentinel neutral stick too. That's true. Agno's actually just popping off with neutral sticks that give that momentum. And now it looks like he's stolen the momentum from Godly. I thought that was going to be a stock in under 30 seconds. And instead, Agno might take the lead after that one. Sword Ground Pound could come through. Downer hits. Gets the downer, doesn't bounce him to the recovery. Sider whiffs, and Godly gets his own sider, which is deceptively strong. Oh, he was so close to hitting that ground pound. I don't know if that would immediately lead to a kill, but that would have been power position for Godly to clean that one up. Coming back over to the gauntlets. Whoa. Had those on nice the Rayman dodge. earlier. Oh, Side sit goes yes. through, misses. Akno immediately punishes, goes for the big one, hoping for the KO. Didn't quite get it, needs just a little bit more damage. If he tried it right now, he gets the KO. Weapon spawn comes in. Oh. His unarmed may be the only Ouch. option here as Godly could continue to control these weapons. There's a weapon spawn. There's two weapon spawns. Ooh, he goes for the D-Light Neutral Stick. He gets it. That's the second time he hit it this game. And Akno, on, on the verge of getting knocked down the left side of the stage, 30 seconds of the game, has brought it back to a lead. Side light sure comes through, but Akno's got to be pretty happy about that result after that Neutral Stick hit. We were just completely caught off guard by that, that maneuver. You saw Godly kind of scared of the unarmed, but also felt like he could go in just unarmed against unarmed. Yeah. You saw those two weapon spawns. He didn't really go for those until a bit later. Then Akno was able to pick that one up. Another beautiful D-Light gravity cancel. Neutral heavy. They are oh. dead even. Akno picking that oh. up high. Even gets the second recovery. All right. Two recoveries come through. That brings Godly in the orange. Godly with the scythe. Tries to get the downlight to catch him off guard. No. Weapon throw comes through. And Akno just juggling weapons. Hit, bounces him off of his opponent. Gets hit by the side light. D light recovery comes through, and Golly sent towards the top of the stage. Another recovery hits. Oh, can Godly get something to start here? The Scythe, it's been rough. He's been getting these like weapon throws. They bounce off Akno, he picks the Scythe back up, and then it's like a down air, and that's it. It's been a lot of weapon throw holla coming out from Godly. He doesn't have any major strength on either weapon right now, at least when it comes to fighting Akno's sword. That sword has been so yeah. good for Akno after this swap Ooh. to a Surrey. Oh, the downlight almost catches the landing, but Godly lands right behind him. Akno looking for another downlight landing punish here. And Akno has been really waiting for Godly to take the first move in this scenario with the sword. Not even putting out too many dashes himself. And Godly has been bringing the damage back up into his favor. That side air hitting from the scythe is pretty huge. Weapon throw comes through and Akno's now on the hunt. He wants to get this edge card, but oh, the recovery. Would have been great if it hit the first time. Let him pick up the weapon, but now Godly down to one stock. And Akno 
One stock takes it, and that's the bracket reset. The beautiful lethal punish from Akno that came out onto Godly's untrue combo, but here we go. Last stock here in the game five situation from both of these players, that quick signature from Godly, even that one up. We saw the side sig come earlier that Akno punished. This time he hit the neutral signature and that was the KO. Godly's still just a little bit behind. Akno's finding one hit at a time, but so is Godly. On average, he is gonna have a little bit more damage per hit. So if it's one for one, oh, edge guard situation that oh, interrupted no the recovery. recovery. He's gonna he have to dodge. Air. He was still caught really high in the air. That's is it. he gonna get caught? That is the end of the tournament in almost a mild edge guard situation that kept going godly comes out on top we have a brand new eu 1v1 champion that is incredible. And it was in response to the Asuri pick from Akno. And to get it with that edge guard at the end, we're going to be seeing yeah, it. Yeah, we here, gotta Sparky. watch that. That you was such my that eyes is are like glued that is like screen. what Scythe is every every Scythe player hopes to get an edge guard that is that crazy in tournament play and to do it for the win. Look how long this goes. Where's the on. stuffed recovery? He is it on the cider? Here. Look at that. There it is. And then they're just kind of around the one another, turns he catches, around the Nair. The Nair catches him right before he hits the stage, too. And then the recovery doesn't even need, need to hit. Akno's got nothing. I, uh, Akno goes down with that dodge, and that I is just, it. I can't believe we didn't see a move come out from but, Akno from after Akno with the Nair. that recovery yeah. came in. There's that moment. It's so easy for us to say in that oh, slow motion. Yeah, absolutely. But like, there was like a moment, like I'm wondering, could Akno have Nair there to stop the recovery? But no, Akno goes down, and that edge guard from Godly was wow. godly. Not only did Akno not come out on top in the 